Hey, church drivers. So I'm not saying that all law enforcement is bad. There's actually a lot of good. But if you ever just feel that something's not right and you need to send it to someone, you know, we can make it known at the Asia My Show. Just send it to the Asia My Show at gmail.com and we'll spread the word and we'll let the public let them know if it's right or wrong because we just got to keep people accountable. That's all it is. Mother truckers, check out this video and let me know. Was the DOT officer wrong? Or was the truck driver in the wrong? Trust me, brother. I'm doing the, sh the story as short as possible, but it was the worst three hours of my life, to be honest with you. I'm telling you, as a former Monroe County officer, I, I got to be honest with you, brother. This this has to stop. Is there anything in there bad? Nothing to play inside. Ain't got nothing hidden, do you? John Seidel here from Trucking Win. I need to give my response because I used to be a state patrol inspector and investigator with the feds, basically a law enforcement officer. I had the job that this guy had pulling truckers over around the country. Let's start with this, opening up the door. A level one and two wouldn't have been done on the side of the road and he seemed to be closing out the inspection. The only reason the officer needs to go inside the cab of the truck is to do equipment checks like low air warning device, um, the, the lower warning light, fire extinguisher, emergency triangles. If he's not checking those things as part of his inspection, there's really no reason to open up the door. And we do have protections under the Fourth Amendment for unreasonable search and seizure. If the driver didn't want you to open up the door and you have no legal basis to go inside the vehicle to check equipment, as I just mentioned, He also instructed me to turn off my phone and put it on airplane mode. And he didn't commence his search until I did so. All right, come look at my tools that I work with. Come. There's a. I don't know why you get so up in arms. There's scissors. Inspection. There's scissors. And then you're getting so up in arms about inspection, you know, with police, if you if you respectful with them, they're I just want you to feel comfortable. According to Officer Andrews or whatever his name is, uh, I had so many violations yet. I don't have not one violation from that stop. He said I was going over the speed limit. I don't have a speeding ticket. He said I had multiple violations and I was out of service. Well, guess what? I only had one strap that he required for me to fix. I fixed that. And after that, my car was searched my truck was searched period everything on my trailer was searched and they couldn't find anything and they were pretty mad about it to be honest with you he told us they told me they're gonna search my truck regardless of if i wanted to or not and it wasn't my choice because inspecting and searching the inside of my cab supposedly to them was part of the inspection itself is there anything in there bad nothing to play inside you got nothing hidden, do you? You got a lot of violations, man. I understand, sir. I'm sorry. You got out of service violations. You got violations on the truck. Out of service on the trailer? Yes, sir. What does that you mean? Put yourself back. You put the strap on. And my bra's telling you, you got to have the front and back secured. I fixed it? Yeah, but you're out of service. If I hadn't stopped you, you wouldn't have fixed it. Okay. So you're back in service now, but I appreciate you got a lot it. Of violations. Thank you. How many? Like 20? And, and you're showing a uh, extensive criminal history. So, you want to tell me about that? When when I got you arrested? DUI and fleeing yeah, that was, and that was years ago when I was a young That's kid. A couple years ago. That wasn't that long ago. It was a couple years ago. It wasn't last year. When, I didn't say last year. It was a couple years ago. I, I, yeah, I got arrested for a DUI and uh, that, I learned my lesson. Yeah. I was washing my boat in a marina. I wasn't even driving a vehicle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fishing game got you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a hardcore fisherman. I, I was fishing, washing my boat in the marina. They called the DEA. The DEA came. 
they asked me a bunch of questions and the guy told me you know what from my 20 years of experience i know that you're not hiding anything and after that the dea agent talked to the dot officers and they let me go Being on with these officers and you know the liberty of them doing whatever they want to us you know I, they told me i couldn't even talk if you talk one more time, I'm going to arrest you for this order, this orderly conduct. That was Sergeant Wolf, and he pulled out the handcuffs on me. Look, how about this? Go ahead and search my car. If you find anything, sir, go ahead and search my, my truck. Go ahead. I'll welcome you. You want me to start putting things out so you can search my truck? You can. Go ahead. No, no, search my truck. Go ahead. Do your